Hello everyone, you're welcome to Kema Freak. My name is Kemi Omorogbe and in today's video, I'll be sharing some digital and productivity apps I use to help me in my small business. So in as much as I have a working store, I consider myself a small business owner and a lot of time, I end up doing a lot of things by myself. So some of these apps have been helpful and they are quite easy to use. You just need to learn a little basics about them and then you're good to go. I'll be sharing these apps with you and I'll be telling you what they do and you get to know if they are free, if they are paid, and if they are mixed version apps. I use an Android phone and all of these apps are available on Google Play Store. They are downloadable freely. Of course, you can download them freely, but then some of the features you may need to pay for an upgrade. But most of the time I use the free features and I get a lot of use out of them. So let me start with um, a planner. So this particular app helps me plan my day my week and sometimes the entire year. I remember the beginning of this year when I needed to create like a vision board. I went on this app and I customized everything I basically want for my year on that app. And this app is Trello, it's on Play Store. I love the way it allows you to just completely create whatever you want. Like there are no strict rules on anything you can label each box or each board the way you want it to be and then your cards you can arrange cards for each day like you can use it to organize your day your week you can use it as a list book you can use it for note taking like it's just like a plain board where you can basically do anything you want you can write whatever you want on it and sometimes it allows you to set reminders attach pictures attach links and all of that for instance i have some pages on this app where it's just YouTube videos so I have plans for different YouTube videos and when I finally create these videos I move them to another board which indicates that I'm doing something about it whether I'm editing and when I'm done I move it to another board just to indicate that I'm true so I can see the videos I uploaded in January February and I can also attach the thumbnail I can put a link to that video so I just love this app because of its versatility and it doesn't limit you in any way there's a paid version but I just use the free version and I get a lot of use out of it really if it's just the basic use you need it for you may not need to pay a premium fee the second app I'll be mentioning allows you generate invoices and create receipts for clients when you need to so they are soft copies but you can definitely print it out these invoices are easily generated and you send it to your client's email so when you do that especially for high class clients it makes your brand look more authentic than you know not just sending anything so if you rather create soft copy for your receipts and invoices just go on google play store and download the wave app so most of these apps have paid version where you can get more features but some of them have so much they can offer with even the free version I'll move on to the third app. Some of you might know already that I take pictures with my phone. I make videos like the one you're watching right now on my phone. I did them on my phone. So I'll be listing some of the apps that helps me do that. So for picture taking, my go-to app would be the inbuilt camera. I use my inbuilt camera to take my pictures. But when it comes to videos, there are a lot of customization that needs to be done. When you make your video using the inbuilt app on your phone, Sometimes you can customize things like exposure, you can lock some settings, so you have this kind of image that keeps fluctuating between temperatures, exposure, and all of that. So my go-to app for video creation is Open Camera. Open Camera is free to download on Play Store, and it has lots of features. You can customize your scene, you can choose temperature, you can choose exposure you can choose the focus and then it allows you to lock this setting so even if you shift your camera to other part of the room you won't have issues with the pictures from fluctuating between different settings so i just love this app just sim just because of that singular feature that it allows you to lock your setting and you have issues with it fluctuating most of the time that's where the difference is between filming with a camera and film it with your phone because you can easily tell when the exposure keeps fluctuating that this person is using the phone but when you lock up your setting that problem is solved so i really love open camera and then i'll move on to picture editing apps which i use in short and snapseed snapseed is my best app for picture editing i just i just love it 
simply because it allows you choose some part of the pictures to edit like i'm wearing this clothes right now i may not want to increase the exposure of this clothes and i just want to increase that of my background i can easily do that on snapseed and also i can touch up my background clean up dirt on my wall i can remove things I don't want to appear in my pictures by using Snapseed. It's my best app. And then I also use InShot, mainly to put um, a watermark on my picture. That's what the major thing I use InShot for. Next, I'll be talking about video editing apps. I use the best app, the best video editing app for Android phone is Kinemaster, even though I don't use Kinemaster currently. So you can use Kinemaster. Kinemaster gives you a lot of features for free, but then you have a watermark on your video. If you don't want that, you need to pay a fee. I'm not sure how much it is now, but in Naira, I think it's about 10,000 Naira. I'm not, I'm not very sure right now. It was around 12 at the time, then it reduced. I'm not sure of the current price right now. You can check it out on Play Store. So, kind of massage is the best app, please. And next best app you can use, which I use some of the time, is CapCut. So, CapCut has beautiful features, almost as much as Kinda Master has, and the best part is it's free. It has the paid version, but you get so much more for free and you don't have a watermark on your video. <clears throat> so I use this a lot of time. You can do like screen merging, you can use chroma key and all of that on CapCut. I think it's a relatively new app because I recently just discovered it. another app which is also great for video editing is InShot, which I mentioned for picture editing as well. So InShot is simple, easy to use. If you don't want trouble for your life, just go ahead on InShot. I see use InShot, <clears throat> excuse me. I still use InShot to edit most of my YouTube videos and even online class videos because it's just easy. It's so easy to use. I like the interface a lot for video editing. If you don't want to, or all the complexity that comes with editing videos, just hop onto InShot, easy to use. The next set of apps I'll be mentioning are those I use for the social media purpose, advertisement, building up my audience and all of that. I won't talk so much on this because I know a lot of us use these apps already. We have Facebook, uh, WhatsApp, um, Instagram, and YouTube. You're watching me on YouTube right now. So these social media apps I use to share videos, share tutorials, Telegram as well. Telegram allows me to share larger lengths and uh, weights of video, unlike WhatsApp and this app, I use them for marketing as well. Sometimes I create um, paid adverts on Instagram, on um, Facebook as well. So I use them for advertisement. I use them to put up my work online. I use them to reach audience and to build my community. The next app I would like to mention is Autodex. So Autodex is an Android app that allows you create digital illustration. So if you are into fashion illustration, you should definitely download Autodex. It has a paid version and you can get some feature from the free version as well. So Autodex is your go-to app for fashion illustration on Android phones. The next set of apps I'll be mentioning are for graphic designing. My best app for graphics, Canva. So I use Canva to create templates. I use Canva for adverts, to create banners, and it's easy to use. You can learn it easily. There are a lot of tutorials, even on YouTube, where you can learn how to use Canva both on the system and on your mobile phone, the Canva app. Another graphic designing app is Spark Post. So Spark Post is an app by Google. Yes, I think the app is by Google. And it has already made templates, just the way Canva has. But some of the templates, I like their feel. And being that more people use Canva anyway, so you are likely to run into a particular design you took out from Canva than you are with Spark Post. Spark Post has a lot of free templates you can use for creating graphics and the, the customization you can make are also numerous. They, although the, the, I think there's a limit with the number of designs in there is not as much as you will get on Canva. So that's just the limitation with that one. Also, if you're into any form of business and you want to keep learning, you want to keep upgrading yourself, my go-to app for learning business skill is Primer. Primer is an app by Google. So hop onto Primer. There are lots of free lessons there. Business, marketing. There are a lot of things you can learn about. 
starting up a business and managing a business. So hop onto Primer, download it. It's a free app, free to use. So let's just say it's knowledge costing you nothing. So go ahead and learn from Primer. The other apps are really not that worth mentioning, like what you use your common browsers and all of that. So the apps I've mentioned so far are my go-to apps for productivity, for video editing, really all that I use for my business and the key is to learn how to use them most of them are easy to use you just need a lesson or two or even practice pick up the app and start studying the interface they are not hard to use and before i end this video i want to say something don't be against technology technology is there to help you don't be like ah this is the old-fashioned way and this is how i want to continue doing it because that's how my great grandfathers did it i know some people have such mentality you just want to keep doing the old things no you don't have to technology makes life easier so learn how to use the things you need and make your life easier at the same time don't get too engrossed in mobile apps hmm. Am I guilty? So sometimes these things end up taking your time rather than reducing it if you don't know how to strike a balance. Imagine, for instance, it's common with social media apps because in as much as the platform is there for you to share, you are also receiving, right? So don't spend so much time being on the receiving end without giving out. Am I making sense? So every time you pick up your Instagram, be on the giving side of it be ready to drop your content yes interact with your audience and like comment on some posts but don't spend so much time there consuming be on the producing part let that app help you to be productive rather than eating up your time consuming and sometimes some of these contents are things you don't even really need at least not right away be sincere with yourself a lot of time you're on instagram for hours and and the things you are consuming are maybe stories, so they end up not adding value to you. Keep that in mind whenever you're using any app at all. They're there, you are in control, okay? Be in control, don't let them start to control you. Thank you for watching this far. Please give this video a thumbs up and drop a comment in the comment section if you have suggestion on other apps that you find helpful that has helped you in your business or in your personal life so far. I'll be happy to, you know, take a look at it and see if it's something I need in my life as well. Thank you once again. That's all for now. See you in the next video. Bye.